This Hearthstone Beginner's Guide video will teach you how to play any Hearthstone deck. We are going over the three and a half deck archetypes and how to beat them, starting with what is a deck archetype. In Hearthstone, you've got three traditional styles of decks and the abandoned child of the OTK and combo deck, which we'll address later. The three types are aggro decks, mid-range decks, and control decks. The best way to think of all these decks is by thinking of a continuum. On one end, you've got the decks which want to win as fast as they can, and those are the aggro decks. On the other side of the continuum are the decks that want to outlast their opponent, which are the control decks. The mid-range deck is the middle of the road deck, which doesn't want to win games super fast, but also doesn't want games to go on for super long either. Each of these decks have their own goal on how to win. Usually you win by the style in which you play the deck. Some decks want to win as fast as they can, other decks want to constantly get board presence and win that way. So each Hearthstone deck will follow some sort of deck archetype and within that archetype, they have a playstyle in which they follow to win. Let's go over the first deck archetype, the aggro deck. The goal of the aggro deck is to rush down your opponent so fast that they can't deal with the big burst of minions. Or you can get them low enough with your minions so that your spells and hero power can win the game. Usually this is done through low cost minions dealing damage to your opponents at the very start of the game. With an aggro deck, you can constantly win before turn 10. That's how fast these decks are. They're aggressive. You want to keep board presence while you're also hitting your opponent's face when you can. So the goal of an aggro deck is simply put to win as fast as you can and not get board cleared. And if you do get board cleared, then you can refill your board quickly with your low cost minions or use your spells to finish off that last bit of damage. But did you know within the deck archetypes, there are subsets of the three deck archetypes? Aggro, midrange, and control are umbrella terms for different types of decks. Kind of like how dog is an umbrella term for different breeds of dogs. The common aggro deck subtypes are token and zoo decks. Token decks revolve around summoning a wide board of minions then buffing the minions with your spells. It's called a token deck because the wide board of minions you summon usually have small stats. This minion is what we call the token. Zoo decks are simpler where you just play a lot of low cost minions, then get value trades with your minions and overload your opponent with your board. Basically you play your minions and over time you create a zoo which is your full board of minions. But be careful not to get board cleared. Aggro decks are played by a lot of classes, but Hunter, Druid, Warlock, and Warrior are the classes with the most consistent aggro decks. Going to the other end of the spectrum, we've got control decks. Control decks fight a game of attrition. They want to last longer than their opponent and use cards which give them good value. Value meaning that the card can either have a big effect for just one card or generate more cards. They play taunt minions so they don't lose too much health and also have lots of minion removing spells and some sort of healing or armor gain. Basically, they'll control the board then do something big at the end of the game. Control decks will spend the first part of the game controlling the board and trying to survive. Then in the second half, the control deck will attempt to win in a certain way depending on the deck subtype. Big decks like to cheat out high mana cost minions from their deck when they normally can't play them. Some decks will flat out run you into fatigue and outlast you with armor gain. Resurrection decks can constantly resummon minions until you run out of board removal. Some decks rely on big card effects at the end of the game like Jaraxxus. And some decks will flat out get more cards than you. This means they'll have cards which generate more cards which generate more cards until they single-handedly contribute to the world's deforestation rates. Unlike aggro decks, not all of the classes can make great control decks, but Warrior, Priest, and Warlock are the classes which consistently get good cards for control decks. In between aggro and control decks are the mid-range style decks. Instead of trying to win super fast like aggro decks or trying to outlast your opponent like control decks, mid-range decks go in between both extremes and try to constantly apply pressure on the board. Usually this is done by playing a minion each turn. We call this playing on curve or keeping tempo. This is where their most common deck, the tempo deck, comes into play. Tempo decks want to play a minion or high value card each turn. In mid-range decks, you're trying to put a threat on the board each turn so your opponent is forced to use their removal cards. Then after that, you play another threat on the board and the cycle continues. Mid-range style decks are the most buildable by every Hearthstone class, but Shaman, Demon Hunter, Mage, and Paladin have had the most notable mid-range decks. Now you might have noticed I haven't mentioned the Rogue class yet, and though Rogue does have some aggro elements in their class, they're more known for their combo style of play. Combo and OTK decks are sort of an anomaly in Hearthstone decks. You could classify them as a control deck because their goal is to survive until they pull off their combo. But sometimes their combo happens super early in the game. So I've decided to put them in their own little category. 
but know that in general, you can classify combo and OTK decks into the control deck umbrella. Combo and OTK decks want to do one thing, and that's pull off some insane play. The OTK or one turn kill is self explanatory and usually means you win in one turn. The only difference I'd make between a combo and an OTK is that a combo can do something really cool, but you might not win the game by just the combo itself. Rather, it's just another way for your deck to win. These decks are super meta dependent too. For example, the Fractured and Alteric Valley expansions meta had a lot of OTK decks. While in the first expansion, the best combo you could do is combine Doomhammer with Rockbiter Weapon and then deal 10 damage with it. And if you were lucky, you could have two Rockbiter Weapons and deal 16 damage, whoa! It's just something you need to be aware of. But how can you beat each of these deck archetypes? If you've ever had fun in your life, you've probably played Rock, Paper, Scissors. Think of deck archetypes like Rock, Paper, Scissors. Aggro decks beat mid-range decks, mid-range decks beat control decks, and control decks beat aggro decks. And here is why. If you think of how an aggro deck wins, they play lots of minions fast and they burst down their opponent. Since mid-range decks rely on playing one minion each turn, that one minion won't be enough to stop the big burst of damage the aggro deck can pull off. Mid-range decks are just too slow against aggro decks. But a control deck is definitely slower than a mid-range deck, so why do control decks beat aggro decks? That's because a control deck revolves around being slow. Because of this, they can run board and minion removals and also heal. So that means a control deck can usually clear an aggro deck's board and then heal enough so they don't get burst down by their spells. But most control decks only have so much removal, so when you play a minion each turn like a mid-range deck does, it gets tricky to figure out which minions to remove. Eventually, a mid-range deck can overwhelm the control deck with their constant pressure and the control deck will most likely not have the resources to stop it. Now this is all super surface level stuff, but as a beginner, what you need to know for now is how the triangle of deck archetypes interact. Once you start getting the hang of this, then you can start figuring out how to play around the win conditions of each deck. You'll notice I'm hedging here, saying a lot of most likely and all of that. That's because it depends on how good you draw, how good your opponent draws, how good each player is at running the deck, and more. But now that you know how each deck archetype works, I think you're ready to build your own Hearthstone deck. Check out this video right here to learn the 6 easy steps on how to build any Hearthstone deck. And if this video has been useful and you want more Hearthstone guides, then why not subscribe? Check out the Patreon if you want some additional perks too. Thanks for stopping by, I'll see you around.